Francie is under high alert after two terror attacks in Paris. Hundreds of troops will join police to tighten security. Now, the only known person who could answer if the Paris attacks are connected is Hayat Boumediene. But the girlfriend of one of the gunmen may have slipped out of the country. A huge crowd marched in solidarity across France today, including Nice. Hundreds jammed the street, holding banners, Je suis Charlie. Thousands of people filled Washington Square Park this afternoon. Some of their banners were the English translation, We Are Charlie. They also held pencils as a symbol of journalistic freedom. She's probably the most wanted woman in France and perhaps Europe, Hayat Bomadian, but she may have left the country. French authorities say a woman with her name and description left France five days before the attack, flying to Istanbul, Turkey, and then making her way to Syria. She's a suspected accomplice in at least one of the Paris terror attacks. Bomadian is the girlfriend of gunman Amadi Kolabali. <laughs> He stormed a Paris kosher market, taking 12 hostages, killing four people. You can see the moment he was shot as he ran from the store. French newspaper Le Monde has photos of the pair, apparently showing her in a burqa holding a crossbow. Another shows Koulibaly with a known Al-Qaeda European recruiter. Investigators say he was also connected to Saeed and Sharif Kouachi behind the magazine massacre. They were killed in a barrage of bullets rushing from a printing plant. The pair had admitted ties to known jihadist groups and to terror groups in Yemen. Authorities say Bomadian made 500 phone calls to Sharif Kouachi's girlfriend. France's prime minister says his country is fighting a war. It is a war against terrorism, against jihadism, against radical Islamism. The central synagogue in Paris was closed today as a security measure.